In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best and fastest ways to get onto the good and evil leaderboards inside Pet Simulator 99. And if you get top 1000, which is probably not going to be that hard, you're going to be able to get a free huge pet, which I think is super awesome. All right, so in front of me right now, we have two leaderboards. There's actually a third one right here that's coming soon. And I'm currently on the good side, but this is going to also apply to the evil side. So yeah, pretty much if you're following this on the evil side, just know that what I'm about to say for the good side is going to apply there as well. So as you can see, we have three leaderboards one of them is actually coming soon not sure what this one could be uh but we'll have to wait and see and then we have the huge uh good team huge tragic points or like good slash evil and then good slash evil team hatching points now for the huge one this is going to be a whole lot harder because as you can see top 100 is like two i mean in order to get on top 1000 i think you just need one right now so you just pretty much need to be lucky and then for the good team hatching points top 100 is like 31 million so probably top 250 is like going to be like 23 million or something like that i'm just guessing that's off the top of my head and then top 1000 thousands probably gonna be like 15 million or something like that so i am like kind of like halfway like i'm almost at like 7 million but yeah so pretty much you want to go for this hatching points one because it's going to be a whole lot easier than the huge one but the loadouts that i'm going to show you and like the stuff is going to apply to both of these so what you want to do is you want to go into your inventory you pretty much want to stack up on the best pets uh, as you can see right here all of these like good slash evil pets i don't know what the evil pets kind of parts are to these but just try to get them if you are on the evil side and then you don't really need the huge pets i just have them because you know they're a lot better than these stat pets but if you have stat pets that's fine as well and so you want to go over there you want to also go into ult ultimates right here and you want to pretty much use up pretty much a good ultimate they're, they're pretty cheap like the full, well like the worst one that i think is a, like op is going to be the tnt shower it's almost a million and it's going to definitely help you out with breaking break pulls you're going to need a whole lot of coins for what i'm about to show you like probably the most op part of uh doing this but as you can see we're now in the enchant loadout and you pretty much want to have at least a huge hunter here i mean if you want you can have some shiny hunters uh, and i also have some lucky eggs as well and then some coins just just because you know if you put on too many lucky eggs it's not going to stack but if you have like you know coins and the midas touch then they are going to you know get you a whole lot more coins from each break pull and you also want to put down some flags i recommend getting a shiny or rainbow flag these two plug in the most OP. you could also go for the fortune flag coins flag the hasty flag or the strength flag and keep in mind that other people might have flags on there as well so if you want to get to server hop you actually find a server that does not have any flags there then moving on obviously you can use these toys like it does not hurt it's probably gonna help you out in the long run so you just want to use up all these you know fruits and uh you know pretty much use up the most that you can and i just come to give you a slight advantage over everyone else and then potions you want to go for here you want to use up a lot of these coin ones damage ones also but most importantly uh, either lucky egg and so actually you don't need huge potions because this actually just works for the active huges so if you want you know just go for any huge pet you can just this on right here the same thing goes on for this huge hunter you don't really need this because that's just for active huge pets so you could just swap that out something else like a critical right here and or like actually for options probably even better oh uh, yeah so if you don't if you don't care about the active huge pets you could just you don't have to use the huge hunter or the huge potion right here and there's also some people who are actually buying the huge hunter because they think it's gonna help out against the huge avenging griffin right here which is worth a crazy 1.5 million points please be aware that the huge hunter game pass does not help towards this huge avenging griffin it only helps towards the active huge pets so if there's a game pass that i recommend you buy it's either going to be ultra lucky or lucky because that's going to help you a whole lot more with the stat pets and so the last final thing i wanted to share that you know, I only I kept on the end so that anyone who actually did not watch till the end is not going to see this most important pet. But that is going to be that if you have, you know, because coins are actually a whole lot easier to collect than you might think inside of this event. So you're going to be able to get the max coins a lot faster than usual. And as you can see, if I just go to the angelic egg right here, the 99 eggs that I have right now, it's only 277,000 coins, which is so much less than 20 billion. They can actually go into your hatch settings and turn on charged eggs. And so that's going to make it a whole lot of more OP. And as you can see, now it's 5 billion. Now it's still going to like it's not going to be you know an infinite afk grind but it's going to last you for at least a few hours so as you can see if i just start doing this and so there we go now we have uh, eggs that are a whole lot more luck and these are going to get you a whole lot more of the more better stat pets so you'll be able to climb the leaderboards in no time